Well, it's been a hot minute since I've recorded a video, but I came across a framework a couple days ago called Flight. It is kind of sort of aging as of today, but really as I looked at it, the simpler something is, the less you need to mess with it. So I'm not super offended that it's a little old, but I wanted to go over what it is. So it is just a very simple framework to build up or throw up an API to do a very small project really quickly. You could even probably get away with a medium sized project on this guy. Um, it really not too complicated. I just wanted to take some time and go over it with you all. So in order to install the thing, you just do composer and I have VS code opened up right here and I have not done anything. There's no files. There's no nothing. So I'm starting from the ground up. So I'm going to composer this. Now it's all done. And we're going to get started with our uh, index file. So we'll just make an index file here really quickly, just for illustrative purposes. So if we go back, uh, it just says we need to do these three things. Require it, which we can. There, I finally figured it out. Bring this puppy down. So we just have require that. Let's start a new route and finish her off. So in order to get this thing to actually work, we need to start up a new uh, PHP web server. The internal one is nice and easy. So localhost, we'll do it on port 8000 for good measure. So now if I go to the route of here, it should say, hello world. Let's see what happens. Hello world. That was really easy. So while this is a simple example, it's pretty useless because you really can't do much of anything with it. So we have hello world and we could, you know, add, echo out some HTML with it. Because why not? I mean, everyone loves a good H2 tag. So if I save it and I refresh, now it's an H2 tag. So nothing too crazy here. And Flight actually has some components for uh, rendering views and things like that. So something else that would be really helpful is, well, if this is an API, you might as well make it a JSON API. So that part is really easy too. You go Flight, JSON, and then like an array you want to pass to it. Hi there. So now it says hi there. Firefox formats it all cute and pretty, but that's what it is. Well, now you're probably wondering, well, putting it in like a random anonymous function is really narrow thinking, and I guess that would really limit you on your abilities to do something. But fear not, you can actually do this in like a controller of some kind. So if I come back here, you can see they'll give you an example. Class greeting, public static controller. We can do the same thing. So if we copy this puppy, we'll just make a new one. We'll call this hello controller. Poof, I made it all better. The only other thing we'll need to do is, obviously we wouldn't do this in auto loading, but just for the sake of this example, we just have to manually add it in here. All right, so now we have hello controller. So instead we could do this a little bit differently. We do something like this. So if I save this puppy and again, going back to this route, it should say hello world because that is what we're outputting right here. So uh, the added benefit of doing this is you can now put everything into classes, which is cool. And then you're probably wondering, well, what do I want to do if this is a post method? Well, if you put it in post, because it's not, this is not a post coming through the browser, it will scream at you and say it cannot be found. So you won't, you could also do, well, I want get and post to route through here. And that's how you would do that. And now it works again. It's pretty easy to throw variables in here. You could just do name and then you come over to the controller over here in this case, or if it was this function, I would say name. So we'll come over here and it will say hello world. 
Your name is name. We'll save this puppy too. So now remember this route no longer exists. So this will air out and say it doesn't exist. We'll sell this, Bob. Hello, your name is Bob. How about Gus? It's a good name, good strong name. And the last thing to measure, measure. The last thing to mention is that all this, you know, maybe all this static stuff is not your jam. Well, you actually can make this object oriented. If you come here at the very bottom, you can do a framework instance. So you have new flight engine, and then you route it like that. So we'll slap this in here. We'll comment this out. Slap their example together. I like putting those up a little higher. So now we have new app or app new engine, app route. There's hello world and app start. So if we come back over here, Gus will no longer work, but that little puppy will. And the only thing that I would add to this is if you're like, oh, I want to use something in here, you can do use app. And now you can do something like print our app request. And it prints out your little cute object request. So there's a quick little tutorial on flight. I'm going to be doing a few more in the future because I just think it's a fascinating little micro framework. Please subscribe. That's the desperate call that all people have on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to do here. Subscribe because it's cool and that's the right thing to do.